There is no guaranteed way to know if a person truly loves you, but there are a few signs to read in order to figure out what is on the mind of your loved one. Number 1. See if the person can act nationally around you. Part of being in love means being completely open to the other person. If you find yourself seeing a whole different side that the person doesn't show the public, then that may be love. For instance, if your partner is pretty serious or polite in public, but shows a more goofy and silly side when you're alone, then s, he is really opening up to you and loves you. Number 2. Gauge if the person is happy to be around you. This should be true even during a bad day. If your loved one has had a very bad day but lights up when s, he sees you, then that's a sign of love. Number 3. Notice if the person gives you googly eyes. Though this may be silly, check out your loved one's face the next time you see him or her. Does us, he look at you in a goofy, watery, silly and adorable way that can only be described as googly-eyed? You will know it when you see it. Number 4. See if the person is giddy around you. Love makes people feel giddy, weightless, and like laughing for no reason at all. If you see the person acting this way in your presence, then this may be love. Number 5. Ask yourself if the person is upset when you are. If you are suffering unbelievable emotional pain or are just bummed because you have the flu, then this should rub off on the person who loves you. If s, he truly loves you, then s slash he'll absorb some of your negative emotions and will be very upset because s slash he'll want you to feel better as soon as you can. Number 6. Notice if the person talks positively about your future together. If the person really loves you, then the idea of you being in his or her future is an absolute given, not something that he or she would ever have anxiety or uncertainty about. If the person routinely talks about what you're going to do in the future, about what your lives will look like one, two, or even ten years in the future together, then s, he is probably in love with you. Number 7. See if the person gives you meaningful compliments. There's a difference between saying, I like your new haircut and you have the ability to make me feel better no matter what. If the person gives you compliments that show that s, he really appreciates the important aspects of your character and personality, then there's a good chance s, he really loves you. Number 8. Determine if the person means every I love you. Remember that there is a big difference between love ya and I love you. If you're special someone really loves you and tells you this much while looking into your eyes, sounding earnest, and not wanting anything from you, then it's likely that s, he really means it. Number 9. See if the person really opens up to you. If your loved one really loves you, then they will really open up to you and tell you what they are thinking, feeling, fearing, and longing for. If the person really opens up about their childhood, greatest regrets, most painful moments, or most romantic dreams for the future, then it's likely that they like you because the person is so comfortable telling you about almost everything. Number 10. Expect to be missed when apart. If you and your loved one are apart, but s, he still texts you, calls you, or emails you to let you know how much s, he misses you, then it means s, he can't imagine his or her life without you. If you go on a three-week vacation and don't hear a word from him or her, then it may not be love. Number 11. Hope to have your mistakes corrected. If that person truly loves you, then s, he doesn't have an idealized picture of you in this or her mind. If it's truly love, then that person will be comfortable with telling you when you've made a mistake, said something illogical, or acted badly. Though the person shouldn't criticize you all the time. Giving you a healthy amount of criticism just means that the person really knows you in and out and accepts your mistakes as well as your best qualities. Number 12. See if the person truly values your opinion. If the person truly loves you, then s slash he'll care about what you think, whether it's about his or her new pair of shoes or the political situation in your country. If s, he really loves you, s, he will ask for your advice and opinions whether it's on big or small matters. S, he may feel self-conscious about asking for your opinion, but S slash he'll do it because S, he loves you. Number 13. Hope to be listened to. If the person really loves you, 
then s slash he'll not only open up to you, but s slash he'll also listen to anything you have to say, even if s slash he's heard it all before. Though s, he won't be your lapdog, s, he will be around to hear your thoughts. s, he will not in respond thoughtfully and not interrupt instead of switching the subject to something s, he wants to talk about. Number 14. See if the person is always there for you. This includes those times when it's inconvenient. Sure, if you want to grab a drink or a tasty meal, the person is always around, but what about when you need a ride from the airport or you need someone to walk your dog while you're sick? If the person truly loves you, then s slash he'll be there for you during the fun times as well as the not so fun times. Number 15. Consider the nice things done for you. If the person truly loves you, then s slash he'll do thoughtful things like put gas in your car when you're busy, do your food shopping for you, or bring you chicken soup when you're homesick. These favors don't have to be constant or over the top, but if the person truly loves you, then s slash he'll want to do things to make you smile and to make your life easier. Number 16. See if the person always wants to be around you. Part of being in love is always wanting to be around the person you love, even if it's impractical. If the person truly loves you, then he or she will want to be around you, a lot. This doesn't mean the person will want to be attached at the hip, but it does mean that the person will try to take as many opportunities as possible to see you. Number 17. Let them give you space. If the person truly loves you, then s slash he'll not only want to be around you a lot, but s, he will also know when to give you space and let you do your own thing. If the person wants to be around you all the time, then that's not love, it's infatuation. As love matures, two people will realize that they still need to do things separate to maintain their own identities. Number 18. Determine if the person truly understands you. True love is true understanding. Though it sounds lame, the person should really get you in order to love you. If the person actually understands your moods, knows what you want and what you don't want, and has an idea of what will make you happy before you may know it yourself, then that may be true love. Number 19. See if the person wants the best for you. This should be true even if it isn't the best for him or her. If a person truly loves you, then s he will understand that there are some things that you have to do that may not be the best for him or her, or may mean that you will be spending some time apart. If s, he truly loves you, then s, he will understand that you have to spend a summer on a remote island to pursue your career in marine biology, or that you have to go home early to get enough sleep for a test instead of spending the night with him or her. Number 20. Look for support. If s, he really loves you, then s, he will not only be there for the fun times, s slash he'll also be there to help you achieve your goals and move forward in your life. If s, he truly loves you, then s slash he'll be there in the bleachers during your soccer game, s slash he'll be there to see you defend your thesis, and s slash he'll be there to give you a ride to your job interview. And s slash he'll be there whenever you want to talk about something that means a lot to you. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe for more.